so today i am going to start a new topic that is relativistic drag equation and under this topic i will cover the drag's relativistic hamiltonian so <coughs> for this let us proceed as follows so drag in 1928 formulated an equation equation designed to avoid difficulties of negative probability densities negative probability densities of klein gordon equation as we discussed in that lecture that uh, in in the relativistic uh, formulation using klein gordon equation that there are some there is a possibility that negative probability densities are there and to avoid these difficulties uh, drag gave a formulation so first of all i will briefly talk about that uh, what we are observing in schrodinger and what we are observing in klein gordon equation so let me briefly review of schrodinger equation and klein gordon equation so i will talk about these here first of all so let me first of all talk about the schrodinger equation and here i will talk about the klein gordon equation right so let me recall these equations as i know that this i h cross curly psi over curly t is equal to h psi this is the schrodinger equation and on the other hand there is a klein gordon equation p mu p mu psi is equal to m not square c square psi and let me call this as equation number 2 this is a klein gordon equation and this is a schrodinger equation so according to this schrodinger equation charge density can be written as if we talk about charge density then charge density is from here comes out to be e over m not c square it is psi star psi let me call this as equation number 2 and here the probability density can be written as or the charge density is simply probability density according to this equation that it should be equal to that rho is equal to iota h cross 2 m not c square it is psi star curly psi by curly t minus psi curly psi star over curly t that's what we are getting from here and let me call this as equation number 4 and this equation just that this is always positive this quantity is always positive whereas this suggest that this equation 4 suggest that rho may be positive or negative and it couldn't account the klein gordon equation couldn't account for the negative values and this is the major drawback of this so to answer this or uh, to solve this discrepancy drag proceed as follows so let us now recall hamiltonian for uh, so uh, l- let me proceed further now uh, so let us now recall hamiltonian for pre particle recall 
Hamiltonian for free particle particle and according to Schrodinger equation right here I am talking about it according to Schrodinger wave equation so Hamiltonian is can be written as p square by 2 m naught or it can be written as iota h cross del over 2 m naught it is the momentum operator so it is square will be there because it is p square so it can be written as minus h cross square by 2 m naught del square let me call this as equation number 5 if we try to look at this equation if I try to look at the equation number 1 equation number 1 is this iota h cross curly psi by curly t and it is f psi and if I try to look at it this h con contains del square means second order spatial derivative and here it is the first order time derivative right so this is the equation number one so <coughs> It means uh, so equation one is thus equation one is linear in time derivative. Derivative but according to equation number 5 h is not linear in spatial derivatives derivatives so keeping this in mind this in mind drag try to modify the Hamiltonian modify the Hamiltonian which must be linear in spatial derivative right so thus the rack chosen modified Hamiltonian Tonian which is linear in spatial derivative which is linear in spatial derivative or he suggested that this linear means h must be containing only single momentum term multiplied by something right so that means h must be something is multiplied by with the uh, momentum operator right so that's what he suggested and this makes it linear in spatial derivative so keeping this in think in mind what he suggested he suggested that this h must be equal to c alpha dot p plus beta m naught c square or you can call it as iota h cross c alpha dot uh, alpha p p is the momentum operator because p is basically minus iota h cross del so keeping this in mind if i put its value here then it, it, it can be written like this so it is beta m not c square so this is the hamiltonian which was chosen by uh, what do we call by the uh, drug right and let me simplify it further so here 
it contains three coordinate sorry uh, momentum has three coordinates it's p x p y and p z so that means it can be written as alpha x p x plus alpha y p y plus alpha z p z plus beta m not c square so or it can be written as uh, minus iota h cross c it is alpha x curly over curly x plus alpha y curly over curly y plus alpha z curly over curly z plus beta m not c square so either this can be written this way or this way so this is the relativistic hamiltonian this is the relativistic Hamiltonian, as uh, suggested by Drax, so it is known as Drax. Relativistic Hamiltonian. Right. So. and let me call this as equation number 6 so here alpha and beta they are not simple numbers they may be matrices so i will talk about it later on and uh, let me briefly talk about the properties of these alpha and beta here so and uh, that topic comes under the name that is uh, drag matrices right so alpha and beta they are known as drag matrices so i will talk about the, the this uh, drag matrices in the next lecture and that's also very interesting right here i will use the uh, idea of the poly matrices and these drag matrices can be written in the form of poly matrices so that's all for uh, this lecture